What is up everyone? I'm Tim T, aka FGFan21, bringing you episode 5 of my Pokemon Blaze Black 2 Nuzlocke Challenge. Uh, last episode we got our first badge, finally, from Charon, the basic badge. So today we are one trainer away of Verbank City and some new encounters. Um, just a little recap for you guys. We have Pegasus, the lonely Ponyta with the muscle band and flame body ability. Came in clutch let's, uh, last episode with fire spin, stomp, quick attack and flame wheel. Level 16 Colin, the uh, Snivy with the lax nature, binding band, contrary, rap, leechy, leaf tornado and twister. We have Flashlight the Bellsprout with a bashful nature, chlorophyll, bullet seed, lead, magical leaf, acid and poison powder. We have Marty the Blitzel with a serious nature, motor drive, me first, sun attack, charge and spark. And last but not least we have Luna the Purloin, unburdened with the naughty nature, fake out, payday, sun attack and feigned attack. Um, so yeah, like I said, we are one trainer away, this little missy down there, before entering Furbank City and getting some new encounters. Um, I give Luna the EXP share. And honestly, I do have a pretty fast team. I think Bellsprout might be the slowest and yeah, space is, that's now 18. Yeah. So I think I'll give Bellsprout the uh, Quick Claw. I do not have any friendship evolutions that needs to happen. So Sooth Bell is not really useful. Iron Ball. Yeah, not really interesting. Miracle Seed. I can give that to Colin, but he's already holding a Binding Band. Yeah, I think. This is more useful and Silk Scarf. Yeah, Marty does not really have a normal type move, so. <coughs> um, by the way, we have Pegasus up front. I want Colin up front because I want Colin to evolve into Servine. And hopefully, we can do that after this battle. I've always give it my best when I'm around kids and Pokemon. Yeah, and that makes you special, how? Little nursery aid Kimya. Done sparse. Let me guess, this is going to be very annoying because done sparse. I'll leech seed. What will he go for? Screech. Oh, that's very nice of him. Doubling my defenses. Thanks. Uh, leaf tornado. Does decent bite. Not doing anything, and I outspeed so he can't flinch me, which is great. And he even heals me back up because of lead seed. How nice is this done sparse? Does he have enough HP to heal me back up to full? Survey says... Dies. Ooh, that's nice. Luna grows a level. Captivate. Nah. Very situational with genders and such, so... Machop. Lead seed again. Meditate. Okay, yeah, he's gonna need it because I have double defenses, so... Um, let's scout how much Leaf Tornado is going to do. Ooh, Accuracy Drop could be huge. Hit me. Thank you. Stupid AI, stupid. Now, I believe Dre made uh, regular trainers like this. Uh, not as smart as Gym Trainer AI. Of gym leader AIs and such, so Colin goes to level 17. Last but not least is a mana. I'm gonna leech seed, scout for what he wants to go for. Confusion. 
does do a hefty amount and it confuses me. So I think Luna is going to be my best bet in here. Because Luna will of course be immune to confusion. And I do have fake out a faint attack so I guess with lead seed, fake out and faint attack I might I uh, don't think so. Fake out wasn't doing all that much, but two fake outs should definitely do the trick. Yeah. Disarming voice, not stab, so I think I should be able to live at least one. Wait, Muna has probably made a fairy type as well. That's why this is neutral. Well, <laughs> uh, <laughs> almost lost my first Pokemon there. <laughs> but positive, Colin is evolving. First evolution of the playthrough, let's go! And now Colin has become a Servine. Captivate again, way too situational. And with that we can enter Verbank City. Nope. Yeah, Audino is great for training, I knew that. I obtained three great balls. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, damn it. Mom, stop calling me. I'm a big boy now. I don't want to talk to you. Roxy, don't try to stop me. I'm off to Pokestar Studios to live up to my true potential. My dream is to be a ship captain and a movie star. Oh my god, dad, get real. You're a captain already, aren't you? If this ship doesn't move, you're going to cause a lot of trouble. Oh dear daughter. You split your time between your responsibilities as a gym leader and with your band, right? I can do that too. Ah! You dim witted dance dumb deaf dippy dorkish doltish doofus Doing double duty isn't a problem, you're causing problems for people Keeping people from getting where they are going because of sheer selfishness is unforgivable. I've had it I'm going to my gym. Okay. I guess you can call that death's position. Yeah, I know, I shut up now. So let's hope this is the final time I see I see five Pokeballs. The more gym badges you have, the more items you can buy at the shop. Didn't you know that? I did know that. Listen, Chetons Potion Pokemon with Poison Pokemon. At least that's what Roxy told me. Roxy's a gym leader. She plays an instrument pretty cool. Okay. I have some questions for you. Outside, neither. Neither. What can I buy from you? Luxury ball nettles. Let me catch get five of those. Oran, Rost, Esper, Great Mill, 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 Mill. Ah, Mill isn't very interesting. Do you have for me? Evolution. What was the other ball? Luxury? Yeah, okay, and maybe I get five of those too. If I encounter something with for friendship, it could be useful. Uh, 
let's let's have a look in this town of here. Does anyone give me something? Does anyone have some good advice? What does anyone wants to battle? A focus band. I mean it's unreliable, but I mean could save me one time, so can't be too mad about it. Lagging till from a trash can for some reason. Not sure why there are lagging tails in the trash can, but whatever. Ultra balls to catch magnemite. Thank you. Mm. Ah la la, you, you are kind of trainer, no? We, oui, I am most certainly. Come, I give you a special Pokemon. Take your pick, s'il vous plaît. Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle. Um, Bulbasaur is off limits because I already have two grass types. So it's between Charmander and Squirtle. Um, and I know this game is very competitive with a lot of hazards. So Charmander and mainly Charizard is something I don't want to have with the eye with my eye on <coughs> what you want to call that stealth rock so I am picking Squirtle this Pokemon said très fantastique we are in agreement yes très bien congratulations to you you received a special Pokemon I do not nickname it came from Le Troué Caché. How do you say Hidden Grotto? Let's have a look -sees at this Squirtle. Level 5, Quirky Nature, Torrent Ability. And since it's really way behind, it gets the EXP share for me. Trash can is empty. I am not going to battle Brawly before having a full team. Harbor is empty, at least no captain. You can go to Castilla from here. Pokestar Studios is a complete waste of time. IMO. Rustling water spots. Nope, oh, I don't know. A smoke ball. So I can always escape from uh, encounters, which is. Hmm. So, uh, I don't think there's much for me to explore anymore. Oh well, one spot left. And that's down here. Okay, so this is already the Verbank Complex. Sorry, it had an itchy nose. So the only Pokemons I can catch in Verbank City Pokeball for Great Ball, sure. Is through fishing encounters. And I do think I want a rustling water spot. <coughs> Sorry. White glasses. There, okay. I can't encounter that one. So let's go back and forth so I can start fishing in a fishing hole spot. There we go. Furbank encounter is going to be a horsey. A level 13 horsey. 
nice. Not sure what I could have gotten otherwise, but... Do I twist her? Sure, why not? As far as I know, it's just a water type, so... And it's... Barely lives, so... Uh, do I just throw a net ball because water type? Sure. One, two, three, gotcha. Horsey was caught, so this is the first Pokemon that is going to be sent to the box. And let's have a look in the box what it is and how well it is. I mean, a timid or a modest horsey would be optimal, but a physical could work as well. Not sure if it gets any physical water type moves, but I know uh, Kingred does get D dance, so. Naive nature, that's pretty okay. Speed boosting, so cool. Sniper, power moves that if they become critical hits with focus energy, that's very cool. <coughs> and it become <coughs> so dear god and it becoming a water dragon type is also very nice so old road fisherman moderate customer hit medals thank you so let's investigate the Verbank complex Let's see. Sorry, I had to pause the video for a second. Because I wanted to look up what I want to do with the Verbeck Complex encounter. Um, fun fact. Horsey was the lowest encounter rate Pokemon I could have gotten. Because Horsey was a 5% encounter rate with regular fishing. And it was a 5% encounter rate for a spot fish, for spot fishing. So, I pretty much lucked out with the horsey there. Um, in K for the uh, Verbank uh, complex encounter. Um, not really sure what I want to do though. Um, Marty against Mankey. Not the greatest matchup. Let's see if I can get a par paralysis off with Spark. I should be able to live one right. Fucker. <sighs> well, first death. Um, Thank you. That sucks, honestly. You die. You pay for that, you little bitch. Oh, fucking crits. Acid spray over acid, I guess. Yeah, both are 40. Oh no, acid spray is way better. Oh man. Losing a Pokemon to a crit is just the absolute worst. Follow me. Ah. Spin a rack. Poor Marty. I still don't know really what I want to do with this next encounter. Flame body? F you. Flame wheel? Die. <sighs> this dead just sucks so bad. I I was just so happy I survived the first gym without any deaths and 
all of a sudden get crit by freaking mankeys and ugh. uh sort of fine if he goes for stuff like mud slap I get an accuracy boost water pulse fine by me I mean Bell's probably would have resisted it as well but Drop. Thank you. Speed boost. Twister. Level 11. Shinx. Leaf Tornado. Almost takes it out, but it was too well now. So, first death, and it really sucks. Let's hope this is one of the few deaths that will happen this episode, this, uh, not just this episode, but this playthrough. <coughs> because I do not like this. Or she will take Blitzel's place. Marty. There we go. Ah, f damn it, I forgot to name the horsey and the squirtle. Ah. I will do that in. I guess next town over Castilia. I'm gonna accept the task the old man has for me. Sure. No items here. Not a youngster, do I want to risk starting off? Wait, Ponyta is still poisoned. What am I doing? Oh, great content. Poor Blitzel. You'll be remembered in Walhalla. So, let's quickly have a look. What is the most optimal spot for my encounter. Um, inside, let's see, outside of Verbank Complex. Normal sp uh, encounter Spiro, Ekans, Electrek, Zigzagoon, both Nidoran, Shallows West, Makuhita, Tyrok, and Buizel. With Odino as a shaking spot encounter. Normal fishing 60% Finian, Quillfish, and Corfish. And Dark's Fishing Spot, Corefish, Quillfish, Finian. But with two water types, that's not really smart to do. Furback Complex. Inside, Magnemite, Growlithe, Volbatorp, Elekit, Magby, Krogunk, Shinx, Whooper, Ponyard, and Clink. With Double Grass Encounters, Krogunk, Growlithe, Voltorb, Elekit, Magby, Coughing, Shinx, Magnemite, Slugma, Pichu, Shaking Spot Encounters, Ardeno, Voltorb, Porygon, Castform, and Beldum. Honestly, I would love a Beldum, but that's a 10% chance. With a 55% chance of Ardeno. So, no. That's not gonna cut it. Uh... Honestly, I like most, if not all, regular encounters. Um, inside with Magnemite, Growlithe, Voltorb, Illicit, Magby, Krogunk, Shinx, Pooper, Ponyard, Clink. Ponyard would be awesome. Um, double encounters, Krogunk is decent. Growlithe, Voltorb, Illicit, Magby, Coughing, Shinx. 
I mean, coughing would be good, would be nice, but I already have a poison type. Uh, by the way, I am leading with... Yeah, I'm just going to go for a regular grass encounter, even though that's going to be just a single encounter. And, um, yeah, not having a choice between two Pokémon. I mean... I think the regular Grass Encounters are just better, so... I think I'm just going for a regular Grass Encounter. Uh, little bit... Here, to here, so... Lillipup, okay. <clears throat> I've beaten a lot of Lillipups and with Pegasus up front having a very high chance of burning with Flame Wheel and Flame Body I'm not really all that worried mainly because I just Oko did not see that coming but I will not complain Charmander I'm just going to stomp Flinch, thank god, because I had a feeling he would go for something like Dragon Rage. And I do not want to deal with freaking Dragon Rage. Squirtle, 13 Water Pulse. Uh, we're gonna do that over Water Gun, of course. Pikachu. It's Pikachu! Uh, Flashlights, 1927. Uh, I want flashlight to get some experience, so. T wave, that's fine. I mean, it's a bit annoying, but. I don't think I was going to outspeed anyway. Charm, that's fine because I went for acid spray. Let's do that again. I was going for Acid Spray. Yeah. Okay. Do you remember the anime episodes where Pikachu just couldn't hit a bell sprout because his roots were in the ground? Why isn't that stuff applying to this battle as well? <clears throat> Magical Leaf. Crit was unnecessary, but I am not complaining. Masahiro. Uh, let's go heal, because paralysis is annoying. I think I can honestly say this episode has not been going in my way at all. <laughs> FML. So, um, we are getting close to the end of this episode. I, of course, am going to take my encounter first, because I will not let you down with a cliffhanger. Um, what do I want? Let's shoot for Ponyard because awesome. Um, I wouldn't mind Illicit. Magnemite is pretty helpful. My Verbank complex encounter is a Shinx. Oh, please be an Intimidate Shinx. Please be Intimidate Shinx. Please be Intimidate Shinx. Please be an Intimidate Shinx. Yes! Thank the Lord. Uh, wait. 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 Uh, uh, no. I think... I think I can wrap. Wait, in the pony test intimidated, so I think a quick attack shouldn't be hurting too much because it is uh, it isn't stab. Helping hands. 
Oh yeah, I can do that again. And from here on out I'm not gonna risk a crit, I'm just gonna lob a ball. Two, three, gotcha. <clears throat> the Shinx was caught. The extensions and contractions of muscles generates electricity, it glows when it's when in trouble. Cool. I am going for my original Shinx nickname Sparks. And of course, we are going to add Sparks to the team. And let me think. Uh, I can make this episode a little longer than normal. So that way we can clean out Furbank Complex. And <clears throat> maybe I can do the Brawly battle. But it is important for... Oh, bold. Bold nature is... Not the worst, but... Oh. This isn't great. Because Shinx and Luxray in extension really do need their physical attack. <sighs> well, whatever. I mean, it's the cards I've got dealt with, so... Uh -huh. Let's see if I could have gotten a Beldum if I went for a shaky spot. Thank God. Uh, do I want to risk this? No, not really, honestly. I said I did not want to risk this. You piece of bull sack. Why can't I run from a freaking cast forum? Of course! Wait. Is he already... Ooh, nice! I already got a dragon type. <laughs> Good. <laughs> what is this thing's problem? Why can't I run? <clears throat> Cost form is so freaking annoying here. I felt my heart stop beating for a second there. This was ridiculous. I am going to quit the episode uh, after healing because this shit was ridiculously scary and Dear God. Oh 
Okay. <sighs> Calm down. Relax. Next episode. Um, wait. Um, I'm going to train everything up to level. Well, Sparks, Squirtle and Luna are going to get trained up to level 16 uh, before next episode. So Squirtle will evolve, Sparks will evolve and everything will be at a decent level. So I uh, can take on the trains a bit easier. Uh, but that's it for this episode. Um, yeah. Uh, luckily I did not lose um, anything besides Blitzel today. Because even though Blitzel was unfortunately unfortunate, Colin living on one was just oh so bad. And I was thinking about when I saw Powder Snow, I was like, no, no. And I was almost willing to throw my laptop into a wall. So let's be happy that did not happen. Um, again, thank you all for watching. I hope you have a good one. And I see you uh, next episode. Bye.